go down 16 or 8 minutes to go with a rally, force overtime, and then ultimately win this thing. What can you say about that? Well, I mean, that part of it's not different than anything this group's done all year. They just, they don't quit. They keep playing. You know, we make mistakes. We always talk about if you're going to make a mistake, make an aggressive mistake and then just keep playing. We don't worry about, uh, I know that we, we had five turnovers at one point early in the first quarter and we were doing just a really pitiful job of, of executing our defensive game plan. And, uh, but we, I wasn't worried at halftime. We weren't worried at Charlotte and we weren't worried at Old Dominion either. This team can score and they do keep playing hard. Uh, we just had to get back all on the same page and, and do what we were trying to do. And, uh, and, and that was the difference between this game and the last two. We all got on the same page together. And we all played hard together. It doesn't guarantee that you're going to win, but it guarantees you're going to get a chance. You're going to be back in the game. Coach, kind of touching on that, you know, you saw all those threes that MTSU was making in the first half, second half included. Was it more so how you guys were defending them, or were they just that good at, at shooting three? And then what changed for you guys were Able to slow that down. Well, it's both. One, they're, they're one of, if not the best three-point shooting team in the conference. They make the most threes of anybody in our conference. At one point, we were one of the best three-point shooting teams, and we've, we've had like a whole team slump. But, uh, uh, but it was a combination of that, plus we were doing a really bad job, as I said, of doing what we were trying to do on defense. And, and we, we came out in the second half, and we got back to our game plan, what we had practiced the last few days. And, and we did a better job that made those threes more difficult. Uh, so we, it's both. It's, they're a great three-point shooting team. We were doing a bad job. We were giving them wide open threes, and they were making them. Uh, you can't do that on good shooting teams. You hear so much about Nero and how she's just so energetic and so tough and how that trickles down on everyone else. But how much did that really, really show, especially in the fourth quarter when that really seemed to get everyone going? Well, more than once this year, she's made a big play when the, we were down two or up one, and she's she's the one that comes up with the offensive rebound and scores, or she's the one that gets a breakaway or steal and scores, and and uh, or a foul, uh, and, and so she's done that the whole season. So I'm not surprised that she was the one. Uh, sometimes uh, we have a uh, we have trouble getting her in space so she can do what she does well. That, that's the challenge for us for as, as a coaching staff and as a team is making sure we're getting her in a spot where she gets the ball and she's got a chance to do what she does well. I'm not going to get into what that is, but that's what we're trying to do. All right, Coach, you talked about a shooting slump, you know, in that Charlotte and the Old Dominion game. You guys shot 50% from the three, 54 from the field. Was there anything today that they were doing or would you guys just wake up and realize that you guys are a better team? Yeah, we were at home. That helped. <laughs> we were at home and, and we got a chance to shoot and we got a chance to just to kind of get the Charlotte and Old Dominion games behind us and get focused forward again. Uh, that was really the first, since the beginning of the year, that's the first time we got off to a bad start and then d didn't rally uh, this past weekend. We just didn't rally. And, uh, and I felt like one of the other changes that we made was Hope Savory has played tremendously coming off the bench and so we just decided you know what we got to get her back in the spot where she's playing well and we tweaked the starting lineup so we could try to uh, get off to a better start we didn't necessarily get off to a better start defensively but it got hope in the right mindset and so when she was she was as important as anybody out there today what do you say for Jalen do it seem like even early the confidence was there and it just kept progressing throughout the game. Well, it, it didn't just happen today like she's worked on that shot for months and she shot that shot and that's the shot you practice so that's the shot you take and today she was just more locked in and and saw some go in uh, and she's made those shots in practice and and so I was glad for her to have that success today uh, the thing I was really proud of was with how Tori Hunter and, and, and Gabby McBride and Jalen they all were really battling inside in the post they were trying to be uh, uh, as physical as we could without fouling and I felt like they were being fairly effective in there come back like that, a little margin for error, you wind up going 10 and 12 from the field in the fourth quarter. What can you say about the, the locked-in focus offensively that, that to be able to finish like that? And, and that, that's a credit to these young ladies. We talk about one of our keys was making sure you get the best shot for us. You do what you do great. Don't get outside of what you are great at doing. And that's all the team needs is you focus on what you do the best. And if it's not, if that's not your thing, then you get it to the next person and let them do what they do. 
great. And, uh, and I felt like in that whole second half, really, we were pretty locked in. We took very few uh, bad shots. There was a couple. I remember a couple. I'm not going to call anybody out. But we took a couple bad shots. But for the most part, I felt like we were very unselfish, uh, had some calls not go our way, some calls go our way. Uh, but we just kept on fighting and never gave up. You know, go from two top road losses to Old Dominion and Charlotte to a really big win over a tough MTSU team. Just how huge is that for you guys and to me entering the Penn Ultimate regular season game of the year? Well, we needed this win. You know, uh, to lose this game would have put a little bit more doubt in these young ladies and just uh, where we are as a, as a group without, without Maya, to be honest. Uh, it was great to see Maya back on the sidelines. She has a positive impact just being here. And, and so uh, to, to win and to play well, to not play well and then to play better and come back, it gives this group confidence that they can be good as they are. This group, this team can be good just like they are. Coach, you talked about uh, Tori Hunter how important was those role players today, you know, playing in their role and doing their job? They were huge. They were, they were battling in there for rebounds. They were playing defense uh, on, on, I can't say her name, number two, uh, as, as hard as they could because with Jalen, and Jalen battled later in the game, battled really hard. But Jalen's given up well, it looks like a foot and a half out there, but it's probably not. So it's probably six or seven inches, but it, it seems like a foot and a half, and certainly it is when she gets a reach up there. But I felt like Tori and Gabby gave us a stronger presence inside. And Tori changed a lot of shots in there. Even, even when she got a mismatch out there, there's times that she really got her hand up and really bothered some of those shooters. And, and she's growing. She just got fatigued today. She played about two minutes, and we were looking for an oxygen tank for her. So uh, she's going she's gonna to be all right. That's your own stat sheet either, but the defense that Teresa played, particularly in overtime. I'm glad you mentioned that because we needed hope and, and Lexi were both wearing down a little bit and, and you could see that. And, and I know that Therese is one of our very best defenders in practice and, and she got in early the game and, and made a turnover and it just really rocks her confidence. And so I just went down there and said, hey, honey, we need you to guard. We need you to sit down and lock up and guard. And she did that for, and that was really impactful for this team during that stretch. I mean, Teresa was huge guarding the ball up there. Uh, did a great job of getting under that screen and getting back on on uh, number 15, uh, getting back on her, making sure that she didn't get easy drives to the basket. And they missed a lot of those. That that was kind of what we were trying to do: is force them into those tough twos. I personally haven't looked at the conference standings, but assuming you guys win now and other teams. Lose. What would that mean for you guys to have the start you had this year to that, you know, win streak you had to losing Maya to make it run like that? What would that really say just about what this team has gone through from start to finish this season? Uh, it, it, it kind of is an example of what each game has been like. Kind of just got you got to ride it and keep believing that it's going to work out, and then you keep doing what you try to do. And uh, right now, we'd have to have a whole lot of help. <laughs> There's, we'd have to have a whole lot of magic uh, for that to happen. So we've just got to focus on being the best that we can be uh, next Wednesday against Marshall. And uh, you know, Marshall had a lead on uh, Middle Tennessee two days ago, right? And and uh, and so they're just th this whole Eastern Conference is tough, really, really tough. And so we've just got to make sure we're being playing the best that we can play together uh, so that when we get to Frisco, we're able to, to be the best that we can be. All right, kind of going back to the lineup you had out there with Teresa, that guy chose to go small late in the fourth quarter and over time, what was kind of the you know, reason for that? And what did you guys like out there with that lineup? Well, when we've gone bigger, it's really an effort to make sure we're doing a better job on the boards. And, and we're able to do that some because Jalen uh, and Miru were able to guard some guards. Uh, but we were really worried more about that three-point line and really wanted to make sure we kept pressure on the ball. We didn't want them to be able just to punch it down the floor and transition and, and get, get inside and force us to rotate on help. And the quicker, quicker players help to do that. And Teresa allowed us to not have to rotate. And so we were able to lock up a lot better and, and stay matched up.